Hey folks, it's Ridgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Ravenport. It is bright and early in the morning and we are just loading up a little bit of lime. I got a new mod today and this particular mod is one that i seen advertised and uh, mod review done on channel by a bloke called Duck Zorley. And if anybody has been on to my Discord channel, I do encourage you to do so if you haven't. Duck Zorley is one of the mods over on the Discord channel. It was actually the first time I met him when he became a moderator on the channel. I'm not normally in the habit of giving trusted positions to people that I have never met and I have no clue who they are. However, the Discord was set up by Jimmy J and Smoodalini, and they're, they're the ones that did the work, and, and Duck Zorley and JJ go way back. So they, 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 they know each other, and so Duck Zorley came um, with JJ's stamp of approval for what it was worth, and he's now a moderator over on the Discord. But he did a mod review of this particular little bad boy in here, and I watched the video, and it is rather interesting. It's got to be said, it is rather interesting. Although where it might be is, I guess it might be under here. There it is, Lizard Flat Deck. That's the bad boy we want. Big, long trailer like this, okay? And you've got uh, wide tyres or you've got standard tyres. Now, you know me, I always like to go for wide tyres if I can. It's a $56,000. Ignore the euros, I'm keeping it on that. I'm in the middle of the time naps recording. Um, 56000 is a lot of money. And right now, we want to be able to save money where we can. So we're going to lease this bad boy right there. Okay, and I am going to take a look at this one today because I want to. Um... And I think it is absolutely spectacular. I really, really like this mod. Um, there's one small complaint I've got with it that I already mentioned to Ducky because um, I just don't think it's particularly realistic. Although, that being said, I have since seen something that, uh, thought of something that, you know, it would then sort of be realistic and it would work. Uh, but anyway... That we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. I I'm, I sent my truck back because I didn't think that we'd want it. So now I want the truck again. Um, and what I was using was this modded one. And I had it... Uh, no, not, not on there. I, I had the engine up to 1,000 horsepower just because 1,000 horsepower seemed pretty good. And it is only 10 grand. So, yeah, we've got the, you know, the base operating costs are not... You know, they're not great, but at the same time, it's not like kill the bank type situation, which I thought it was. I thought we would be spending a lot more than that. Should I change the colours, though? Should we go for something else? Purple rims. i done pink in the live stream, so we'll leave pink for today. Um, nope. Nope. Green is my favourite colour, but i got to be honest, whilst green is my favourite colour, it never really looks very good on machinery. Except for maybe, you know, Fent and John Deere, it, it, I don't know, it, it's, it's kind of, you'd expect it there. But when you look at it on other machinery, it, it always looks a little bit out of place, doesn't it? What about olive? It looks a little bit better, I suppose. Go with brown. I'm genuinely torn. What do I go for? Bright yellow? Yellow and purple is always a good mix. I, I, I always think it's a good mix. We go for black. I think we will. Today we're going to go for black. Right. We'll go with that. Uh, lease. Yes. Okay. Uh, back and back again. Now, we've got grass that we want to cut. However, taking the time out to go and cut our grass at the moment is time consuming. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. I'm going to buy up a little bit of extra. So, I'm going to get eight bales of um, hay right here. We're going to go square bale hay right there. I'm going to buy eight bales of them. $5,200. I'm going to buy another eight bales right there. So, I've got 16 bales of hay that I've just bought. And I'm going to also buy some of uh, square bale straw. 
I'm going to go for eight bales of square bale straw as well. Because apparently you can put square bales into the horse thing. Uh, so we're not going to need to worry about bales at all. This is what I want. I don't want to have to be worrying about bales. That means we don't have to worry about making our own bales, at least for the time being. And this is a good thing. So this is something that we want to do. Right? So we'll bring this one over here. We'll get back to doing our lime in a little while. Um, but I want to have a look at this trailer first. Because I think it's absolutely fantastic. Now, in the description, I'll provide a link. This is from Nexus Mods. So when you go to Nexus Mods, you do need to sign up and you need to make an account. You do not have to pay for it, right? You do not have to make a payment. You can get a free account if you want to um, and just leave it like that. Uh, just you, It takes a minute just to read through. Uh, make sure you're not ticking the wrong boxes and you won't be sent to a payment page. You do not need to enter in any credit card details if you're doing it through a free account, if you get it right. Um, so, yeah, it's it's actually really good. And then you get direct downloads. You don't have to go through third-party downloaders. So it's a wonderful site as far as I'm concerned. If you go for the free one, you may find slow downloads on some of it. Small price to pay. Now, um, auto load, we've got select pallets. We've got large square bales. Small square bales. I didn't even know we had small square bales on this one. 1.3.4.5.8 mission pallets. Now that is another thing that I want to test on this because that is going to save us a lot of time and make us some money. Lumber pallets. Uh, that'll be the big ones. Egg boxes. Now this is another one that I want to test because your ordinary and cotton modules, and then you go back to pallets. Okay, so you got literally everything on this thing. Everything you could possibly want. Auto loader, work mode on. And uh, so we press U for work mode on. And it loads it up like that. Now, I said I had a complaint about this trailer. My complaint, it loads it three, it loads the bales three high. So we could get more bales than this. But you can see that it's crossed the bales over. Yeah? Now... If you were using a large flat 8 grow, a large flat grab like we had with the straw add-on in FS17, this would be, uh, yeah, I, I'd buy that. I, I would say, that, yeah, that's fine. But if you're loading with a bale spike, in real life, you wouldn't load like this. You would not load with them staggered like this because that means you've got to handle and move each individual bale. And on a lorry like this, if you're just loading bales three high all the way down the deck, you would do them in stacks. It's no extra real stability provided by crossing the bales like that. Not with these big bales. Um, you put the straps over every single bale anyway, so it's not going to make any difference. Small bales, yes, you cross small bales. You've got to cross more. You don't, even if you're roping it, you, well, you would rope it down. Um, but roping it down and everything, if you stack them individually in, in individual stacks and small bales, you're going to have the load on the road anyway, all right? But with big bales, you take, you pay attention to loads of big bales going up and down the road. You never see them like this. Or well, very, very, maybe one in a hundred loads. So this is my only complaint with this mod is the way that these bales are loaded. And it does, it bugs me a little bit. It, it's not like, it's not like a... a a game breaker for me um if i was auto loading off a field and i was intending to load into a shed and using a bale spike i would probably find a different trailer that would stack them straight unless i could get a flat grab like we had in fs17 um a flat grab yes you could do it like this it wouldn't cost you time but doing it like this you've got to pick up and handle each individual bale that is not something you'd ever do. You would you'd just do it like that and you'd put three bales straight up across the back and then you put the straps on all the way down the load and it's the straps that hold it all in place. Right, so we've got unload right there. Now, there's another feature to this that is absolutely fantastic, right? So I can just unload right there onto the trailer and we put the straps on. You can see... There's a strap across that back bale right there holding that in place. You'd have actually three bales high. You'd put straps over that. Now, normally when 
I was involved with loading loads and we would always stack I was five high and you would always put a, a line of bales like this along the back usually on the on the trailer anyway we would have a flat a, a flat bed and a drag so a flatbed lorry and then a trailer on behind and it would all be done five high you do it all in straight lines so you'd put three on and then you dump two on the top so you're not individual handling um, and you would have five bales on the back. You'd have just straight five bales straight up through and then they'd put a strap over like that What they would often do though is they would also put a hook a strap onto there and Sand it up over the top diagonally and hook it into there and then it would go over the top round to that side and then up over again and back down over to here for additional straps or sometimes they would do it part way up that you'd put three bales on they would throw the strap over, do the diagonals on the back, and then you'd put two more on, and they would do just a single strap up over the top and down the other side. And you'd have one strap up over the top, down the other side on each line of bales that goes down through, and that's what holds them all in place. Um, I spent years working in straw fields every single summer, loading hundreds of lorries and stuff, so... Um, Unless you had, a, I have loaded lorries with flat grabs before, and that's the only time that you would load differently and you would cross bales. And but it would normally be a different shape bale to this. It would still be a big bale, but they would be slightly different shape to these. These are kind of standard big bale size, um, and I've never loaded these crossways. Anyway, I'm not going to get too much into that because that is a very, very very minor detail on what is a spectacular mod right here uh, so we'll just unload that a minute and I'm gonna load it back on to so press U to load it and I'll turn the work mode off again and then what you've got is auto loader marker position right now if I go to that one and I've got that one there now you see we've got some extra options we've got move marker left with that and um, J, K, auto loader marker position. We've got uh, that one there like that and move it right. So I don't know if it does it with, right, joystick doesn't do it. So you've got the full stop and the comma, moves it out like this and moves it around. Well, and you've got J and K that move it up. Wait a minute, what? Up. I didn't even notice that bit. N and M. So you, you've got uh, J is up and N is down. So you can move, I guess, so that you can pull up alongside and then you can stack them up higher. In which case, I'm now starting to understand why he's got the thing like that. So that you can, if you want to, bring out a load of bales and you can stack them one on top of the other so you can get a high stack in game and get it fairly stable because the bales are all going to be crossed um again in real life you probably wouldn't do that but because this is the game um having them stacked in individual stacks that would make a difference that does actually i'm, I'm i do think i understand why he's gone for this option um besides just you know it, it kind of looks good on the trailer as well doesn't it um so ignoring that bit and you've got wait a minute i pressed m there that uh oh right reset the original position marker move forward oh you gotta you gotta have your f1 help open right you gotta have your f1 help open and look at those um things properly because right there is in and out oh moves it forwards and k moves it backwards so if i want to i can move it forwards up there like that yeah and i can move it out over there like that plus i can also send it skywards like that and then we go auto loader work mode on. Uh, no, you press Y to unload. So I unload and it dumps them up there. And then the next lot you could put in the same place. And you could put them on top of it and dump the bales down on top. And that is the bit 
that I think might be the reason that he's created this mod with the um, the Bales crisscrossing is so that in game it works a little bit better. Um, if I was to be using this and then I wanted to manually unload them, I would be looking for some kind of flat grab to be able to manually unload them uh, so that I could stack them in individual stacks which would make it easier for handling later on. Uh, but, like I say, that is a very very minor detail exceptionally minor detail okay so now if i just press y it's defaulted straight back onto the trailer oh no i need to switch off the load first then press y it's defaulted load onto the trailer you see it weighed it down we'll put the straps onto there like that and we will head back to the yard so we'll see what this one handles like it's a long trailer it's a 51 foot long trailer and what? No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Right, so it'll only go three bales high, and there's probably a good reason for that. There's a good reason for that. It's a little bit top heavy, right? It is a little bit top heavy. You've got to watch out for that. Don't go too fast around those corners, or you are going to end up on your side, right? You are going to end up on your side, staring stupidly at the sky. And you see see what I mean? See what I mean? Going over like that. That's insane. Right. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> that was awesome. That was genuinely awesome. I love it. Um... So we get this one back down here. Now it also auto loads pallets and it said egg boxes. Now this egg box thing has got me intrigued. What egg boxes does it load? Does it load, like, have, have we got a trailer here that loads all the egg boxes? I just leave them out on the ground. I mean, we're not going to get that many egg boxes in place in front of the, the, these areas, are we? Right? Especially not with all the loads that we've got going on at the moment. So, for now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop down here like this. And I'm going to unload these right here. So, we'll take those straps off and then we'll press U to load them back on again. I love that it's got that little graphic down in the bottom right-hand corner, 24 slash 39. So, we've got 39 bales we can take on here altogether. And we're now going to go with B and put that one out onto the side. I think that's what I've done. Um, no. Oh, no, i got to stop loading first. I forgot to stop loading. If I loaded them onto the trailer, i got to stop loading. Now we press B. It's already defaulted back to its original position. I don't want it right there. I want to just move it over a little bit. So I'm just going to nudge it over that way a little tiny bit. And then I'm going to unload with Y. Now I have got an alternative button that should cover anything that uses the Y command on my steering wheel. It should just be noted that that command didn't work for this one. So it you do have to use the actual keyboard command. Um... I found quite a lot of mods that don't really like doing that, but I don't have any other options to using mouse or anything on here either. Um, it's just another minor thing. Um, it's not actually a, an issue with the mod or anything. It's just another thing that should be noted. Um, something else, and this is quite important for those of you who are a bit inexperienced with downloading and installing mods, you might struggle to get this one to show up in the game to start with, because when you download it, the name of the file is fs19 underscore lizard autoloader dot zip dash and a whole load of other stuff. In order to get it to show up in game, it can't have the .zip or anything after it either, right? So once you've got it downloaded, uh, you don't need to unpack the file or anything like that. The file can stay exactly as it is. There's no need to be unpacking anything at all. But what you do need to do is you will need to um, just delete .zip 
and everything that comes after dot zip as well there's um there is some more data on there uh, some more of the name after dot zip you need to do, delete all of that just from dot zip uh just just remove all of it including the dot zip right so that you're just left with the fs19 underscore lizard autoloader then it will show up in game it won't show up in game before that i had exactly the same thing it wouldn't show up in game i was looking at it and then it sort of occurred oh yeah it's, it's um it's a naming issue and uh, those of you who are experienced with downloading and installing mods you've probably seen this many times before anyway um there's something that you do get quite frequently is a misnamed file and it's a very very small thing and easy to correct so for whatever reason uh, it might be to do with Nexus mods themselves, but it's got all of this extra bit on it, and it sort of doesn't really um, fit. I'm just going to close that down, because it's bugging me that it's left open. All right, we'll leave that one down like that. And then we will go back over here. Now, we get to test the egg boxes. So, with small square bales, 1.3, 0.4, 0.8 emission pallets. We're going to go and test that one in a minute. Lumber egg boxes. Now, this is the big thing, right? We've been wanting something to auto load. We we've got. I mean, we've got. We're all set up with these pallets. These pallets are wonderful. They're amazing. They're incredible. But I still want to find out if this will work. So work mode on. <gasps> One of two, six of two hundred and twenty. <laughs> Look! We're auto-loading egg pallets. Can I bring that one round? I can. Right, I'm just going to stop that a minute. And now I want to unload that onto the trailer. It says 220. That's why we've got so many straps on here. It's so that it will load the egg boxes. I'm curious now if it's going to load egg boxes um, in a long line or if it's just going to do them, um, uh, if it's going to like cross the egg boxes or if it's going to stack them one on top of the other. Interesting to find that one out. Right, what I want to do up here is first I want to unload the egg boxes off to the side. So I'll take these straps off a minute and I will load it back on like that and then I will go wait why aren't you oh no I gotta unload no auto load select egg boxes right the egg boxes are on there auto load on are they loaded I got the auto work mode off. Egg boxes appear to be slightly different. They are, look. Oops. Okay, I didn't want to throw it that far. It would appear that egg boxes behave a little bit differently to anything else, right? If I do that... Auto loader work mode on. Right, it's it's auto loading. Oh, it's not auto it's not grabbing the boxes from up on the trailer. That's interesting. Why is it Oh It's not grabbing them from the trailer because it's gotta grab them from the sides of the trailer. See? Right. So I can do that and spin round like that. There we go. Okay, so I've elegantly and carefully unloaded those egg boxes. Now, I've still got the auto load working at the moment. I put the straps on, it goes underneath there. So I turn off the auto load just for a minute. But loading the, the egg boxes, it doesn't appear that you can reload the egg boxes from when they're on the trailer like you can with bail. So if I do B now, wait a minute, work mode off, I haven't unloaded them. 
Oh, I pressed I. Right. There we go. Right. So I've, I've now turned the work mode off. They're still loaded, so now I can move the marker, put them out there, and then I can press Y to unload them. Right, okay, so I've done that right. Uh, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, and I'm just going to stop there one second. I'm going to go over to this tractor a minute, and I'm going to move this tractor and trailer. Now, this one doesn't need to go very far. It can just move along here a little bit like that. We've got a few eggs in there. But we don't need to worry about that at all. That will just sit there and that will wait. And then we'll load up the rest of the eggs in a bit. This one over here, I'm now going to change it over so that we've got cotton pallets right there. And I'm going to uh, press U and start loading that one up. There. So I've got those four pallets on board. I'm going to just bring them over here, and I'm going to unload them right here. I'm not going to take them any further than that, and then we'll put them back in a little while uh, so they can finish loading up, because they're not all loaded up at the moment. So I've got them to there. I'll press B so that they go to there. And it's putting them at an angle, just a little bit, onto the side, but that's because it's going in a straight line from the trailer. So keeping that in mind if you're trying to unload next to a hill and you're unloading your bales it might end up putting your bales under the ground unless you physically lift the unload points um which does make a lot of sense right so we've got that one out there i'll do that so that those go out and we've now got an open space on both of them for the egg boxes to come out from those chicken pens we have a look in here We've got plenty of food in there. We've got plenty of food in there. The sheep need a bit of grass and hay. We've got plenty of food in there. The horses, they could do with a little bit of hay, but they're fine for everything else. Right, so this is good. We, we've got pretty much everything that we need. I'll take this one here, and I will go and get a couple of bales from over this way. And we will drop that in for the sheep. I think we want two bales, possibly. Just grab that one there. And if I bring this one round, I should be able to pick up two bales right here. Now, you can see what I mean. If we had a flat grab, we'd be able to pick up four bales without any problem whatsoever. Or pick up three very very often you pick up three of these bales at once uh, a lot of places are kitted out with a grab of some kind a tractor with a grab of some kind that will pick up either two or three of these kind of bales at once um, most places I know would be able to pick up two or three um, uh, we used to work with a big bale spike that you could pick up four with at once although normally when you're working around the yard you still wouldn't handle four at a time you would handle uh three bales at a time when you when you were sort of working and moving around the yard it was just easier to do three at a time right so we drop that one down there i do like the way that it's got to be unloaded off the spike in order to be able to go in for the sheep um but it does then seem a little bit odd when it takes the top one each time uh, that's enough. That's fine. We got 12,000 in there. So that and the horses are absolutely fine for today They've all got at least two days worth of food water and everything else that they need We don't need to concern ourselves with our fields at the moment. We've got in storage 10,000 liters of oats and 18,000 liters of wheat So we're going to want a little bit more oats at some point sooner then we're going to want anything else. Uh, so we're going to have to consider that. Just going to stop you there. Uh, but we're not going to consider that just yet. I have other things that I want to consider first. Namely, I want this lorry to go and do yet another task. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to there. And we have two bailing. We have a transport job there. 2,600. We've got 2,100 from Dairy Station to the dam. Uh, water Tower to Transport Company. We will accept that contract right there. Right, so our first port of call has got to be Biomass, Restaurant, Shop, Animal Dealer, Lime. Where have we got to go? Ah, there. We've got to go all the way up there. Right. 
While we're doing that, we're going to speed up time. I'm going to keep it on 60. I think 120 is a bit fast. We'll put it on 60 times speed. We're going to go up round here just because it's a small, narrow road and we've got a really long trailer, so that would be the sensible one for us to go on. Um, it does fit, though. It does fit. Let's zoom down in a little bit so that we can kind of see where we're going. I don't like in-cab driving. I have talked about this previously. I know I, every now and then I get a request for me to do some in-cab driving. Um, I really don't like it. That being said, let's see. Lorries do tend to be a little bit different. It's a bit more like... Um, yeah, lorries is about the only ones that's acceptable, really. It's, it's more similar to... Um, what would you call it? ETS-2. ETS-2, I can't drive out of cab. I cannot drive out of cab and keep the thing on the road. Um, but with just about every other driving game I've ever played, I can't drive in cab and keep the thing on the road. So it's quite interesting that you've got those two variations on it. Um, I absolutely cannot keep a vehicle on the road in ETS-2 if I'm driving out of cab. It's just I end up going all over the place. It just doesn't work for me. Uh, where do I want to go? I'm going to head down this way. The only thing that we don't have with this one that we do have in ETS-2 is the mirrors. The mirrors go in cab in ETS-2 and it makes such a difference. You have, the, you have them sort of superimposed on the screen, so you haven't got to turn your head at all. You've just got the mirrors there all the time and that is absolutely priceless. Mirrors are never particularly good in this game anyway. Um, they do work, it's just they never seem to be particularly great, do they? What can we do? Right, we want to go across that crossing right there, so we're just going to have to wait for the train. Well, well, we'll probably get there after the train's gone through anyway. Now bring that one on up to here. Um, you know what? I think we will go all the way up to 120 times speed. Right, in we go. We'll go and grab this little contract in here. I'm keeping... I want 120 times speed because I want it all to fill up with egg boxes. I want to get as many egg boxes as we can in there. Now, we do know at this point that using the pallet system that we've now got in place, it's going to be far more effective for gathering up eggs than it is um, having individual boxes dropped in front of the chickens. Because there's only space for so many individual boxes and... Um, with our pallet system, we are able to take far more... We've got 10,000 litres of eggs in every single one. So it's it's going to make a significant difference. Now, where... Wait a minute. Oh, that's... Oh, you're kidding me. That's where i got to unload them. That that spot right there, that's, that's where i got to take them. The yellow... See the yellow spot on my map? I got a yellow, I got, uh, yeah, I got a yellow dot. If you look on the mini-map, down in the bottom left, there's a yellow dot on there. That's telling me where I've got to go and collect them from, which is there. That's where I've got to collect them from. From Water Tower to Transport Company. <laughs> We've gone to the wrong side of the map. Right. Uh, let's, let's speed this along a little bit, shall we? Let's, uh, ra rather than, rather than worrying about this too much, we'll speed this along a little bit this time, and we'll go straight through this way. Look at that. Look at that. Elegantly done. I want to get up through here, and I need to get, actually, I want to go, I'm going to need to go around this way so that I can use the bridge. I've got to use that bridge. And we need to go into town. I'm going to head more into town. So I was talking, I, I said, I think it was in Monday's episode, about various different, you know, people's different opinions on this map compared to uh, the, the base game maps compared to previous base game maps. And said, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that don't seem to like them. But I've also had a lot of comments this, uh, you know, talking about them. Um, I've seen Monday's episode. I've seen the comments and the feedback from it. Um, and it is, it's a mixed bag. 
All right, some people really don't like it. Some people don't like the way that there seems to be a lot of trash lying around on this map. Um, and I can understand that. There, is, there do seem to be, like, quite a few random trash piles. Um, but other things I've heard about this map is that it's a really positive um, experience on this map because, unlike FS17 where it seemed to be all about the town, and the town was like the big feature. This one is not all about the town. This map is all about the actual farming, right? And, and the countryside, and the town is just a small part of it. Whereas it felt like the other ones, the, the town was like the significant part of it. That was the, like the, the big feature. Um, and this is like this is a big positive for a lot of people. Okay, so we select pallets, squares, uh, 1.38 mission pallets is the bad boy that we want. So we go to work mode on like that. Work mode on. I keep pressing I instead of U. This is because my keyboard is so worn out now that I can't see anything on it at all. Right, so we've got four pallets right there. I'm going to go work mode on off like that and now i can go fast and tension belts and that goes underneath i don't want to do that i don't like doing that that's unrealistic i use auto load to put it on there which is not realistic admittedly but i also do this i unload onto the trailer and then i strap the things down right now they are held down it might not look like it's held down very realistically but they are held down we've, we've got the straps on the vehicle all held down exactly where they should be and as far as i'm concerned this is a good thing i can't jackknife my vehicle back round on that i can't go up there either so we've got to go down around here we are stuck in suburban hell and we've got to try and get out with our absolutely mahusive lorry we're going to come up through here. I've never driven around on this map at night time. Just realize I've been very remiss in my overall reviews of this map by never driving around at night. It looks quite cool. I'm quite impressed with this at night time. Bring that one on round there, like that. And then up round here and take out that signpost because that car ain't going to stop for us, is it? And, right, I don't like that with the lights. The fact that you've got to have your rear lights on to get your high beams on. Because if you're going along a road, you wouldn't do that. Right, you wouldn't put your rear lights on going along a road. For one, in most countries, it would be highly illegal. You can have your high beams on, but you don't want a load of lights on behind dazzling the drivers that are following you. Um, and so I want to be able to drive with my high beams on, but without rear lights. And this is something that you normally you can't do in FS17 or FS19. Um, and it does bug me a bit because that is one thing that is highly inaccurate. You, you're not allowed to be driving along with high beams on. Um, but you, sorry, you, with rear lights on, right? If you get caught driving a tractor along a road with your rear spotlights on, or any of your spotlights on for that matter, uh, you can get points on your license for it. You're not allowed to have your cab spotlights on, your, your field work spotlights. You, you're not allowed to have them on. Uh, you can have your high beams on, on the front of your tractor, and you have your, your small lights on around. Um, but if you've got rear spotlights on as well, lighting up everything behind you, vehicle leasing costs $19,000. Good gravy. Um, if you've got rear spotlights on, you are going, you're going—you're in for a world of trouble, sunshine. You are in for a world of trouble. That is not... That is a big no-no, that is. Now, in order to complete this mission, if I... Wait a minute. I'll take those straps off of there. I think we do have to unload them off the trailer, don't we? So what I'm hoping is I can bring this up along here to there like that and we can now load up again so we'll just bring that one up so we can see what we're doing we press u we'll load it again that has loaded them so it's only the egg boxes that seem to have the little issue with then the auto load not picking them up off of the trailer bed 
That's fine. That's, that's a min minor, minor detail. Um, so it works perfectly with those. So the next thing we want to do is we want to turn the auto load off. So we're into this position. Then you select your marker position, which is down on the ground like that, which is what we want. And then we unload and transport finished. Right, we've got the quest. It's done. There, collect. Job done. Simple as that. 2,671 to make up for the 19,000 in vehicle leasing costs. Perfect. It's, it's uh, we're, 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 we're absolutely cooking on gas now. Uh, transport station there. Dairy station to dam. That's the only other one that we've got at the moment. Dairy station to dam. Where's the dairy station? I think that's back in town, isn't it? Uh, I think that's that one down there. And it wants to take all the way. No, we're not, we're not going to worry about another one. Okay, so we'll close that one up. The only thing that we've got left to do in today's episode is get back to the farm so that we can see about picking up a whole load of um, egg pallets all onto this trailer. And we will have thoroughly investigated a great big chunk of what this trailer can do. The only thing that we haven't investigated yet is small square bales. I'm very interested to see what the small square bales are going to come out like. Whether or not they're um, even loaded into the game. It could be that it's there for an option, but it's not currently being used. It's very likely that that is the case, because I'm not aware that there are any small square bales in FS19 yet. I'm not aware that anybody has actually converted over the, um, the small square bale mod, or you know, someone who's actually competent with it, because we all know that there's a whole host of mods out there that have now been converted over very, very badly, most of which don't work. Um, so I'm not aware that there has been any competent conversion of that mod yet. There might be. I may be wrong on this. It's entirely possible. I have occasionally, just from time to time, been wrong about things in the past. So I could be wrong at this instance as well. Doesn't happen very often. Never, you know, it doesn't happen very often. For goodness sake, don't go and tell Sen that I've gone and said anything about this. Because um, she, she may have a different story to tell. And, um, yeah, let's, let's not go. Let's, 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 let's just keep this between us, shall we? It's just, just between me and it be our little secret. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be our little secret. And if, if you can keep that secret, I'll, I'll give you another video later today. How's that? So is that, is that a good deal? I think it's an excellent deal. I, th I think I can trust you all to just, <laughs> just keep that as a little secret. Uh, right. On that note, I'm going to get back to the farm. Right, I will slow time down now. We are 9 o'clock in the morning. We've got a small selection of egg boxes over here. We've got another small selection of egg boxes over on the next one. This is absolutely fantastic. So we can go lumber pallets, egg boxes right there. We press U to start auto-loading. It auto-loads from both sides of the trailer. We will grab up those right there. We've got 10 boxes already. I think it's just going to go all the way down the bed of the trailer. So it's very likely, actually, that it's only going to... Like, I've got 25 boxes there. I suspect that it will only take 220 boxes. And it will limit it to two layers of boxes. I don't think it will be more than two layers of boxes. Across this entire thing, I think two layers of boxes is going to be the limit. Which is not a great deal, but you think about this. If you unload, if you've got 220 boxes all in one spot, that's going to cause a massive amount of lag, isn't it? So that's probably why it's limiting it to that number of boxes. So we've got the auto loader. I'm going to switch off the auto load mode at the moment. And... And I'm going to go into here, and I just want to have a look and see what the price of eggs is at the moment. They are 4,600 at the ranch. That's where we want to go at the moment. Ranch, which is that one just up there. Fairly close. I don't really want to go up that way. We'd want to go up the other way. 
We're gonna, we'll sell them next time, actually. We'll sell them next time, because there's one other thing that I'd like to do, and I want to test what it's going to be like when we come back in. I'm going to unload them. I'm not going to leave it done in the auto load because I have had issues with that in the past, and it's caused some major game issues. Uh, it's like exploding all over the map, whereas if you just leave them on the trailer, they'll very often they'll be there when you come back or something like that. Uh, so as a rule, I never leave auto load stuff in auto load when I exit the game, ever. All right, this is just a golden rule that I've always had for myself because I've had it cause some serious problems in the past with the way that it um, saves and then reloads and it, it does mess itself up a bit. Um, and it's, to, yeah, the, the, there's a whole host of things that can happen with it. Um, so always be on the safe side with auto loaders and never exit the game with any product still in the auto load right so our auto loader is on at the moment no it's not it's on now so we've switched off the auto loader i can unload them i can unload them right here where they are or i can put the marker over onto the side i can move it around i'm going to unload them right there onto the trailer so they're now unloaded onto the trailer we've got all of those boxes on there and they're now locked into position on the back of the tray. You can leave them like this and you shouldn't have any problem. I'm going to leave them like this and we'll see how they load back in. Um, and in our next episode, we'll worry about moving some of the pallets back. Uh, this one here, I will just put back now. Um, and we'll move the other four. We got four other pallets that we're going to want to put back into position. I'll do that in our next episode with the um, auto load trailer we'll use the auto load trailer to do that so these here we can move them back and if you look up over the top of them get a good angle there we should have six pallets into that loading area so i'll switch it off and i'll leave it there should have six of them in there chickens now we have got 400 in each of these i'm not going to bother selling chickens i'm just going to keep the chickens as they are so that we've got uh no issues with them um it's it's just going to be easier and the amount of money that we'd make off them would be marginally small anyway we've got 1500 liters of wool on the sheep that's my nearest one i'm gonna switch you off a minute i'm gonna run over to the sheep but anyway i have run out of time so if you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. There will be a link in the description down below to Duck Zorley's video that he did with his full and detailed mod review where he picked up a whole host of different things with that trailer that we've been playing around with today. And I'll also have a link to the download on Nexus Mods. Now, remember, you do need to sign up to Nexus Mods in order to be able to use it uh, and to download it. But it's definitely worth it because they host the downloads direct themselves. So you're not going through those awful third-party download sites that I absolutely detest. Uh, but until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.